Hello there. And welcome to another pouring session. So I've just got a, a small canvas here, 30 by, actually this is not even 30, this is about 20 by 30. So it's a small canvas and uh, some pigments. I, I um, asked for suggestions and I had uh, one of the ladies who suggested that I use an orange and this is a tangelo which is an orange orangey color um, a medium green I don't have a medium green but I've got an aquamarine and I'm going to mix it with a little bit it's a pretty dark deep sort of um, green and mix that with a bit of white should help I could even maybe mix a little bit of my lemon curd in with it. So anyway, let's see how we go. We've got to get started. All right, so the rest of this resin that I have, I'm just going to pour it over a few bits maybe here and maybe a little bit here. Not a lot. That's cool, I'm just gonna leave that there and just gonna spread this one out. Because I want to have that black uh, negative space. And I'm gonna go diagonally and it'll probably change. Um, if you followed my videos, you'd know that I, I have an idea to do one thing and it ends up being something else. It's only because I let it happen. Let the painting paint in itself, I always say. And yes, you probably think that when I start talking to my paintings that I've lost my marbles and, you know, that's okay. <laughs> Um, I do talk to my paintings. I'm not really talking to my painting, I talk to myself. But I am referring to the painting. If that makes any sense, what I just said. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. The only thing that matters is creating art. So I prepped my canvas just by spray painting some um, paint, black spray paint, and then a primer, spray primer as well, because I'm not the most patient person when it comes to waiting for the canvases to dry. So I'm. I'd like to be quick and then have time to play with my actual painting. Okay, I'm going to torch this a wee bit, get rid of the bubbles. something so do apologize go grab my alcohol wipe because I just realized that I had some uh, mixed resin there I'm not sure if it's mixed or unmixed but I don't want to risk it because I was mixing on top of this thing so better be sure better be um, safe than sorry they say Okay, there we go. Let's start with some layering. And that's what I'm going to do. I was going to do a dirty pour, but now I'm just going to do some sort of placing and layering. So here we go. 
Oh, that looks so pretty. And then go a little bit here. After the orange, I want to go with a little bit of gold. We'll go over a little bit. Gold and black, or oh, gold against black, just looks so sexy. It's just amazing. So that's what I'm doing. Design over there. Now we're going to be going with a little bit of this copper. Just everywhere a little bit. And there. So I like to break that orange a bit. Then, because I'm overlapping, I don't want any of that. Look at that gold. I just adore this gold. You just sort of hit it with a bit of heat and it, these flakes start popping up. Look at that. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. It's just marvelous. I just play with this all day. And what about the rest? Just let me have that gold. Okay, so I'm a little bit nervous now with this green. Actually, I'll go with the white. Probably should have mixed it a little bit more white. Anywho, let's go. Go. Can hear any voices? That's just my kids in the background. My big kids. Just um. Having a good time, Saturday afternoon. And I'm having a good time in my studio. The best place to be for me. Okay, so there goes that green. Now we're going to, oh, nearly spilled my gold. I'm overlapping. And when you do that, so you can squeeze it so you get a really nice thin stream, usually, unless it starts to play up, which is doing now. More here. And more about there. Just want to try and create a little bit of balance. And okay, I'm going to leave the gold for last because I want to have that too. But I definitely want a lot of white. Okay, I'm going to torch this. And move it a little bit with the torch. Not this one, I'll use the big one for the moving. So I use a torch, and I've got a small torch, I've got a large torch. Oh, this is actually a medium sized torch. There is a bigger one that you can get. And I also use my um, uh, heat gun. So. Let's go with a big torch. Okay. What I want to do is use my hand or fingers rather to move some of these and just blend them together. See, I've got some gaps there. I just want to get these all blended. So 
not too much see I'm just gently touching because I've got I still got a little bit of um, white left and I've also got some gold left so I want to do this so that I can have um, you know, more room and they uh, sort of can move now yeah so that looks pretty even just like that however we are going to hit it with a little bit of the heat. Wow, really crazy things happening here. Loving it. I know it's moving, but it's pulling pulling the pigments together towards the middle. It's warping a little bit. So I'm really loving this actually. Really, really loving it. In with the gold. We need some gold around here, more gold. It's just magnificent, this gold. Love it. I get all serious when I when I get things happening. It's just like this is serious business now, and I'm so excited. Look, look it's just bloody beautiful. It's brilliant. Okay, now with the white, I definitely want a little bit more white here. Yeah. It's really, really um, too bright in the middle because it's, it's warped. I have to pull because it's just going to keep moving. I can't really control it too much. Um, because it's going to do what it wants to do without without um anything I do now because I can't move help that movement in the in the middle. And oh, maybe just a little bit of tilting just to spread it a bit. That is there. Actually, I think I will tilt it a lot because it's 
Oh, it's pulling those. I just want to be able to pour it into something. Hopefully. good because that was just too much there way too much oh my white stick's not working well. okay now that I've got rid of some of that I can Hit it again. Wow, that's just crazy what's happening in there. So I'm going to leave it now. And it's going to be needing another coat. Just to level it all out again, probably just with a clear. So I see how that's pulling in the middle. Just like a, I don't know, like a storm, something brewing in there. It's just looking really cool. And that's it. That's done. So have a good look at it now because I guarantee you it's going to look completely different when it's, when it's all set because this is moving like crazy. And I just love these pigments because you can play with them. They just don't, they don't muddy up. You know, if I did that with acrylic paints, that would be just a huge blob of probably grey. Um, but it's not. It's just looking really, really cool. And it's making some really cool cells. Okay, I'll bring you down so you can see it now. And then you can um, check it out when it's all set and cured and all that good stuff. Ooh. Okay, so here it is. See that gold? <laughs>